How's it going everybody? Welcome back to Lead Therapy and thank you so very much for taking time for tuning into my video. Mexico is at it again. They tried suing American gun manufacturers and a judge recently dismissed that case. Now they're suing five Arizona gun shops. The Mexican government filed another U.S. gun lawsuit Monday, this time against five U.S. gun shops and distributors it claims are responsible for the flow of illegal weapons into Mexico. Mexico's first lawsuit, which was recently dismissed, targeted U.S. gun manufacturers. The second, which Foreign Affairs Secretary Marcelo Ebrard said was filed in Arizona's Federal District Court on Monday, targets gun dealers. We're suing them because clearly there's a pattern. We can contend that it is obvious that there is weapons trafficking and that it is known that these guns are going to our country, Ebrard said. Ebrard promised last week the new lawsuit would target gun shops or dealers in U.S. border states who sell guns to straw purchasers who pass them on to smugglers who then take the weapons into Mexico. Mexico is suing for unspecified monetary damages and demand gun stores hire independent monitors to ensure U.S. federal laws are followed in gun purchases. Alejandra Celereal Alcantara, the legal advisor to Mexico's Foreign Relations Department, said Mexico had chosen the five worst stores to name in the lawsuit, including three gun outlets in Tucson, one in Phoenix, and one in Yuma, Arizona. They are not careful when they sell products, so they allow straw purchasers to buy guns, adding they sold multiple guns multiple times to some purchasers. We are saying they're negligent and facilitate straw purchasers to the point of being accomplices. He claimed that U.S. criminal investigations had traced weapon purchases back to the stores and said there was evidence that the shops had not filed required information on some purchases. The main argument of our lawsuit is that these businesses are an organized part of a criminal enterprise, a mechanism to facilitate criminals and cartels in Mexico being able to use their weapons, said Alcantara. He said the first hearing on the suit might not come until summer. Ebrard said 60% of the weapons seized in Mexico in recent years were believed to have been sold in 10 U.S. counties, mostly along the border. Mexico has very strict restrictions on weapon possession, but drug cartel violence has caused hundreds of thousands of lives in our country in recent years. We're going to show that many of these outlets where they sell these products in these counties I mentioned are dealing with straw purchasers and criminal charges have to be brought. A recently enacted U.S. law defines straw purchasing as a crime and sets out sentences as much as 15 to 25 years if the offense is related to drug trafficking. Celerio Alcantara said that was a key difference between this and Mexico's earlier lawsuit. In the Mexico suit, Mexico was arguing a violation of U.S. laws. The announcement comes several days after a U.S. federal judge dismissed Mexico's first lawsuit against U.S. gun manufacturers. Mexico said it would appeal that decision. The judge ruled Mexico's claims against gun makers did not overcome the broad protection provided to firearms manufacturers of the Protection of the Lawful Commerce and Arms Act of 2005. The law shields gun manufacturers from damages resulting from criminal or unlawful misuse of a firearm. Mexico was seeking at least $10 billion in compensation, but legal experts had viewed the lawsuit as a long shot. The Mexican government estimates 70% of the weapons trafficked into Mexico come to the U.S. according to the Foreign Affairs Ministry. It said in 2019 alone, at least 17,000 homicides in Mexico were linked to traffic weapons. It sounds like just another Fast and Furious to me. Let me know your thoughts about the story in the comments section down below. And if you guys would do me a favor and help the channel out by liking, sharing, and subscribing and hitting those post notifications. And I will see you guys in the next video.